hairstyles than we have seasons here. That's kind of <laughs> neat. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't wait to find out if I did. I just started talking, just like the rest of my life. Uh, our length, uh, our ability to apply our defensive game plan. Uh, and some freshman that just walked in like he owned the place. I think those are the three <laughs> things that really uh, stuck out to me. Poor Ryan was awfully bashful in his opener. You know, the, here's the thing that's lost on it. He held his guy to two for 12 shooting in the process. And the, the guy who was guarding is pretty good. Uh, I knew I wanted to coach Ryan for a long, long time. Uh, and he knew he didn't want to come to Fargo. And I became a much better recruiter when I moved to Athens, Ohio, didn't I, Ryan? Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, the other thing really that's great, I thought we got good looks throughout the game. Maurice is going to go off if he gets those looks nine times out of ten. He didn't, and we still win by 20. That feels good to have that pressure on you, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels good. I was a big-time scorer myself, too, and the pressure always got to me. So, um, Just swinging the ball and um, being comfortable in the offense and also defensively. Yeah, I mean, I was just taking what they were giving me. It took a little more than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, it feels great, you know, to, to win this game, especially at home. And um, you know, today I just came out trying to be aggressive, trying to set the tone early for the team, and they responded well. I mean, as you can see, Ryan came out of the gate and just dominating. So you just got to keep doing it. But uh, we see him go off every time in practice, right, Coach? Absolutely. Yeah, so, I mean, it was just, I was just happy to see them, you know, play the way they did today and offensively and defensively. So I'm just proud of our guys. Um, I knew that there would be more pressure on me. I just figured that I would try to handle it as well as possible. So um, with Bean being out, yeah, I did feel the pressure, but I think I handled it pretty well. <laughs> There's the understatement of the year. He talks like his next breath might might have him doze off, doesn't he? I mean, it's just, he's a calm kid, always has been. Similar to his mother that way. Uh, he doesn't realize what he just did. He doesn't need to. And you know what? I'm not going to tell him because it worked just fine. But that, that of debuts in the convo for freshmen, who's done better? Anybody been around since 1805? I didn't have basketball yet. But it, Listen, that, that's about as good as you can do it. Not only that, he defended their best player, and he played a position he's never played before at times. Do we look any different with Stevie on the bench and Ryan on the point? No, in fact, we opened up the lead. Now, Stevie gave us good minutes and did some good things for us, but that bodes well on a lot of levels for us. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad he's on our team. I knew that Ryan could be a really, really good player, and I, I won't even begin to tell you how high I believe his ceiling is. I mean, the kid, the kid can get stronger. The kid can get better with his handles. He can pass. He can, he can there is room for growth. That's what's exciting about him. <clears throat> you bring in kids with huge potential and hope, help, help them try to reach that potential. That's what my job is. That's what wins games, and that's a lot of fun. That's why I like what I do. There's, uh, that's something that we're working through a little bit, uh, kind of forced on our, us tonight uh, with the way it was. <coughs> they'll both play together some, and there'll be times where we're really, really long. And it, going forward, I think you'll, even from what we've signed so far, I think length is going to be a primary concern for us when, when we look at who we're going after, what we want to get done with them. Uh, I had a really long team last year, and I loved coaching it. I mean, it, it just switches. Uh, it's, like, it's like, you know, you, we had six blocks tonight. Those are, that's, that starts you out at 0 for 6 shooting the ball, percentage-wise, right? So you're, you're going to chip into team shooting percentages with, <coughs> with six blocks. Maybe I like 
maybe I just kind of like to make up for the fact that I was short and not long. Uh, but it, it amazes me when getting quietly tonight, guys, getting Kyrie Harley back is huge for us. And that's another long guy. Uh, that's huge for us. Did a lot of good things defensively. Uh, and he just never hurts you. He just doesn't. He doesn't make mistakes. Uh, he's a kid much like Ryan that I think, when you stop and think he's a freshman, we got four years to watch those guys, Mike Laster, run up and down this court. That's pretty fun. I like that. Um, <coughs> future's bright. Let's not get too crazy. We didn't win the NBA champ or NCAA championship yet. Uh, it was a fun day. We've got a tough one coming up, but boy, oh boy, if you allow yourself to gaze in the future a little bit, yeah, and even the the immediate future looks decent. If you if you watch this practice real close, I practice Stevie about half the reps of everybody else. I try to modify Maurice's reps in practice. Uh, For all the things that I want to teach these guys and all the things I want to get through to these guys, sometimes I have to put my thinky pants away and just say, you know what, it's more important they're healthy. And that, that's hard to do as a coach, really hard. Didn't do it at all my first couple years, and then I figured out, you know what, my best players, knowing what they know, are going to be better than their backups that have complete control over everything. Being played in an unsanctioned tournament uh, this summer, we, he didn't realize it was unsanctioned, uh, tweeted about it, and once we saw the tweet and realized that he had played, uh, had no choice but to suspend him. Uh, Treg said he also played in that tournament. He will be suspended for the Florida Gulf Coast game. Uh, the reason I didn't talk about it before was because I was scared to death about going into a game with one point guard and what that might do to their pressure. I wasn't, you're gonna, you're gonna find out that when I communicate with you guys, there isn't a whole lot of smoke and mirrors with what I do. I'm kind of an open book. This one, I didn't want any more pressure on Ryan uh, by advertising the fact that Bean was going to have to sit for a game. It'll be very nice having Bean back. And uh, I thought we, I thought we did a pretty good job of being a guy short. Yeah, Tony, Tony stays out of foul trouble, and he has a huge night. Uh, that kid can score in bunches. I mean, he fills up a stat sheet. He's uh, he a work in progress like anybody else. But I, he did a good job playing high-low defense tonight. Uh, <coughs> I want to look at the fouls. I, I don't know. A lot of times... He got called for fouls off the ball, and I might not have seen all the action that, that happened, but we got to keep him on the court more. Raise your hand if you thought Wadley was going to make a three today. <laughs> you, here's the, we, we do a drill threes in five minutes in which you're, everybody shoots threes for five minutes regardless of who you are. Um, and the first time we ever ran it, about halfway through, Wadley walks up to the free throw line halfway through his five minutes and starts shooting free throws. I go, what are you doing? Well, I, I don't take a lot of threes. Well, he does now. I don't want to take a lot, but that was – it looked smooth, didn't it? Wadley, Wadley gets in his own way sometimes. Just play. Go have fun. You're seeing a kid come out of a shell. There's no question about that. Uh, sometime the light switch comes on at different points in a career and uh, – like I say, he's, we got a lot of years left with him. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can get done. He, uh, he's a unique kid. He's got tremendous size, tremendous length. Sometimes it looks like his neuro, neurons are firing to all his joints, different messages at the same time. Uh, but boy, like that drive from the wing tonight that he had, whoo. You get a seven six eleven guy moving that fast. That's you step in there and take a charge, Arkley. You wouldn't do it, would you? No. That's no fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would have been a speed bump, but the uh, yeah, that's 
I couldn't I couldn't let the press conference go without commenting on at least three. Now everybody's going to be like, guys, a three point sniper. We got to guard him out there. Listen, I've been treated so well since I've been here. They've taken very good care of me in every capacity. Uh, I want to be part of the fun. Everybody, I came down here to Ohio University. I look around, and I look like everybody's having fun. I want to add to that fun. Let's have a saw ball fest at some point, right? You got a fest for everything else here. Mike is a tough kid that plays with a great motor, and you're exactly right. That was a really strong day out of him, period, on a lot of levels. Uh, <coughs> got us a couple pick sixes in transition. You know, got a, just really came out confident. Again, kind of like he owned the place. And uh, that's good because we, we certainly need – some younger guys to not play young if we're going to do what we want to do this year. Uh, Mike plays with a – just a – he's like a puppy out there. It, it's a joy that emanates. It, it's, it's hard to watch Mike and not feel good. He plays hard. He plays the right way. It, it, for all you out there that have played, you'd want him as your teammate, right? I mean, you look at him. He's fun to play. He's selfless. He doesn't care – what happens out there, he's going to beat you. That's what he wants to do, and he's going to have a good time doing it. And that's, uh, that's the way I want this team to be. That's the way I try to live my life. I thought we did a decent job on him. I thought there were moments where, listen, there will be times where we look a little disjointed. In fact, there's times tonight where we looked a little disjointed. Uh, <coughs> We caused some of those turnovers, no question about it. Other ones probably look like a group of guys just coming together for the first time. I know uh, we looked a little bit like that in the first 14 minutes against Marietta. Oh, why did I bring that up? <laughs> I promise you this. I will not finish my career here undefeated, so I won't worry about that. But I like winning. I think everybody in here does. It's fun. It's fun, and I'm having, having a terrific time with these guys. It's fun to see them get things. They, they absorbed a scouting report tonight with that high-low stuff. They took away some – Spagnuolo's a good basketball player. I'd take him in a heartbeat. Don't know where I'd fit him right now, but I'd take him. Uh, we did a really good job of shrinking the floor on him, taking away his left shoulder. That was a major – piece of what we're trying to get done tonight. Like I say, he's probably sweeping up out there right now. He did everything else in the building tonight. He's uh, – can't say enough about him. I love him, and there's going to be nights this year that he's going to look like a freshman. <coughs> I wouldn't trade him. I think he could play at a lot of levels. He can't go anywhere, though. He's with me.